Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. This is going to be a love reading for September for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread for you all. I'm wishing every single one of you an amazing September. And I do want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers and new viewers and old viewers. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it, okay? If you like what I do, tap the bell and subscribe. It does help me and it helps you, okay? When you tap the bell, you get all notifications on all types of stuff from me on my channel. So I do appreciate it. Let's see what you have, Virgo, for September. Hopefully it's good. I hope so. The first card is King of Cups. So, my lovely earth sign Virgo, you could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Immediately, when the King of Cups fell out, I thought of Scorpio. So, you Virgos out here could be with a Scorpio. Crossing is Queen of Wands. So, what I see here is lots of action. So, especially for those Virgos that are trying to find somebody to commit to, for the long term, I do see lots of suitors this month for you. Um, mainly Earth, like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Water, and Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, so far, I just see a kind of combination between Water and Earth. But let's pull some more cards to see here. All right, so your crowning energy is Three of Cups Reverse. Hmm. Now, Three of Cups Reverse, the direct meaning, the direct meaning is third party, okay? A lot of the times when the Three of Cups is upright, it mainly talks about friends, going out, celebrations, reunions, events. The typical real meaning of a Three of Cups upright is not always about third party, okay? But in reverse, if you read reversals, it is. So, yeah. All right. We have the devil card, Capricorn. So clearly, <laughs> right? So clearly with three of cups reverse, the devil card falling right after that. Uh, to me, it does feel like, it does feel like there definitely could be some kind of third party. I really wasn't expecting that, but that's what it feels like to me, um, Virgos. So now we have heavy, like I said, heavy earth and water, but mainly Capricorn. Queen of Cups, if you're a guy watching, Queen of Cups could also mean a, a female water sign. Now we have air, but I'm saying in terms of the people, right, it feels to me like water and earth mainly so far, so far. Let's see the last three cards. Virgo's love. That's it. That's it. Pause. Tell myself to pause shoveling. <laughs> okay. Yes. So somebody got options. Seven of cups. Yeah, there's options here. So here's what I feel like saying to you guys. If you are in a relationship and you're clearly watching this video, because you found something out or somebody found something out about you it's really not too far-fetched to say that that was because of a third party okay some kind of triangle <coughs> excuse me the house is super cold final card for your celtic virgo is ten of wands exhaustion but really and truly this card does not only mean exhaustion, Virgo, it also means burden. The word that I felt from pulling this card is burden. So this relationship is a burden. This love triangle is a burden. Four of swords. So the last four cards are all indicating the problem. The problem is that Either somebody has too many options and can't narrow it down, which basically translates to, I like more than one person, which does happen 
you know sometimes us humans want to feel want to believe and feel that people can't like more than one person at the same time that's not true okay sometimes we're blessed enough to have um either love partners or people we date that we like and then maybe you know you date another person and you like them too it happens um that's just the real world so what i see here for you virgos is that it's either you or the other person or this third party okay if it applies to you there's too many options and i do feel that for somebody that i'm reading for could be the cross watcher water sign i feel watching the cancer Pisces scorpio that's watching this video i feel that you have this virgo in your pocket and you have a fire sign in your pocket aries leo sagittarius in your pocket so you have a fire and earth sign in your pocket and you like them both you like them both and i feel like your cover is blown okay this is for the this is a message for the cross watchers your cover is blown hello the devil card is below the king of cups so this there's a water sign here for a lot of you that i feel is a troublemaker okay they have too many options they're not monogamous um this could be you but i think i feel that it's the other person the third person okay or the second person that is in this love triangle and there's just too much there's just too much in and out three of cups again followed by the justice card libra so weirdly enough it's actually not weird but funny enough the libra card has been showing for almost every sign so far that i read for i think we're in libra season if, if i'm not mistaken either virgo or libra season i guys don't quote me on that but i know if we're not in it already i do know that libra season is coming up I, i'm pretty sure this is libra season i'm pretty sure um because kim kardashian's birth is 21st of october which is kind of far so maybe not but anyway the libra card the justice card libra eight major arcana has been showing for all signs and i feel that this air this air energy of of libra is coming into everybody's reading saying listen what's the deal you know what's the truth here because it feels to me that all the signs i'm reading for are having problems with the truth people are having problems with saying the truth that's why the ace of swords is in reverse for you virgos okay so so scorpio had the ace of swords upright and that was their crowning energy their crowning energy was all mental but for you virgos you have it in reverse as your self position which means that you guys are conflicted with something it could just be i mean we have i mean it could just be as obvious as saying three of cups three of cups three of cups i pulled it three times the three of cups as well as seven of cups so if there's anybody out here who wants to know something and can't figure out why this relationship is not working i really feel like your answer is right here okay it's right here the, the three of cups twice and the devil card paired with the seven of cups and the four of swords so i'm gonna move these these three cards out of the way and just look at the spread real quick to see exactly what's going to happen here i'm going to pull two additional cards i feel i need to pull two cards for something um a clarifier so i'm going to pull a clarifier for the queen of wands all right So please, universe, show us a clarifier for Queen of Wands, for Virgos, love, their love life. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So that to me feels like somebody in this relationship is forcing it, is forcing something that doesn't work. It could be that somebody is a party goer, a big socializer could even be like a smoozer who goes around goes around on dates or whatever with people uses them and then dumps them i mean it kind of sounds very explicit but that's just the reality of what i get here with these two cards and i'm scorpio sun 
so sometimes on camera just for the new watchers sometimes on camera i'm very um formal but sometimes i'm not so the deal is is that there's too many cups and three of cups and cards that speak to options in this spread if you work in a relationship or you're trying to be in a relationship uh whether private or public you don't want to see three of cups three of cups devil card you don't want to see cards like that right so what i'm getting at here is that with the wheel of fortune reverse and the queen of wands upright it really does feel to me with a devil card with a devil card it really does feel to me like somebody's trying to make somebody um and look at all the red look at all the passion uh in, in the colors of the cards are are so strong so this is really indicating like very strong um, sexual chemistry, okay? Whoever you're with, Virgo, that that's fine. That's not an issue, right? Being attracted to this person is not an issue. Or for juggling more than one person, being attracted to these these two people in your life, it's not a, that's not an issue. But the issue is that it's a burden, okay? Either juggling this person or people is a burden, or this triangle going on is is too much of a burden for somebody it may not be you it could be them and it feels to me like this scenario is getting to a crossroads point where it's like yeah it's all fun and games you know it's all fun and games now but i feel that eventually you know the more i pull the cards towards the end virgo it's like it's too much and it's almost like breaking the camel's back here okay it's breaking the camel's back um but i do feel that it's not going to be for all of you okay for all of you for for some of you guys it it may not be a problem it may just be a kind of like um lusty month you know which is not a bad thing i mean if, if there's communication being exchanged and it's not like it's in it, <coughs> excuse me and it's not hidden in the dark then whatever like that's your business but if you do want a relationship that's monogamous if you do want this person to commit to you vice versa cross watcher or not then this spread is an issue okay this is an issue the ten of uh wands is not here for no reason so to somebody it's a burden okay the secrets the the games juggling more than one person um the three of cups the three of cups in reverse also feels like having more than one sexual partner okay and um because the devil card is below the king of cups i would say um be careful okay be careful of diseases be careful of pregnancies um unplanned pregnancy because a devil card the devil card being here and the wheel of fortune being in reverse is like strong temptation um you know it's not traditional energy in any way it's not it's not like um yeah it's just not okay by that i mean somebody goes on like x amount of dates and then does stuff no this is the energy of like first night first meet and the problem if if this applies to you or a guy watching is that it's with more than one person okay and that for some reason is causing exhaustion it's causing confusion it's causing some kind of physical uh, physical problem okay so yeah that does concern me so if if you have more than one sexual partner and somebody's unaware of this seven of cups ace of swords i feel here that somebody's not aware of this somebody's not aware of this and um this is energy of somebody being afraid of something okay it could be, be it could be being afraid of uh, pregnancy disease disease or fatigue it could just be that you're you're party somebody's partying too much somebody has too many options now keep in mind this is a collective energy for all virgos so i don't want to see any ridiculous comments saying you're accusing this you're accusing that i'm not saying anything okay if it doesn't resonate with you do not take this message simple but i feel i i actually am start picking up here i'm picking up here but there could be a fire sign or a water sign female so i'm basically gonna i'm basically gonna say if you're a virgo male if you're a virgo male 
that I'm reading for, you could have a water sign and fire sign female who does not know about this. All of this. And I feel that somebody wants to get it off their chest. Four of Swords, Ace of Swords Reverse. Somebody wants to like take off this burden off their back, but there's something stopping the person. Because you see how all the cards flow and then the, the last card just stops right there at Ten of Wands. This is your last card, Virgo. Ten of Wands. So to summarize... To summarize, I feel that somebody here is not aware, is not aware of a third party. And that's really all I see here. And I can't even mince it. I can't even like add sugar to it and bake it. That's what I see here. Okay. Either somebody doesn't know about a third party or somebody knows that they're engaged in a third party and now there's some kind of drama around being in a third party or fourth party or fifth party there's some kind of drama i would say physical drama or mental anguish over having too many people at once and somebody has to be cut like like looking at this ace of swords it's like somebody has to go page of swords reverse like not wanting to tell somebody i can't be with you anymore i can't do this anymore or could be uh, honestly could be i see here an unplanned pregnancy out of nowhere wheel of fortune reverse like from temptation something has something has been created and it's not positive so virgos this looks like a spread to me of a wake-up call and this this spread seems to me like um if you don't want to have this drama with this water sign or whoever the sign, if you don't want to be a part of this nonsense, you don't have to. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like all the cards are, I mean, look at the, I, let me just show you on camera. All the cards here are full of red, like red, red, red. And you guys know what I've been saying for the longest time now. When I see red, when I get lots of wand cards, it normally is an indicator of war, battles, chaos arguments so there's a lot of toxic energy i feel at the at the the base of this relationship and for those that are tired of this ten of wands four of swords you can leave this you can get out of this you don't have to be a part of this at all because i feel for a lot of you virgos it's like someone's drowning you okay once again you could be with a water sign somebody's pushing you down and 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 getting you in a situation that naturally does not feel good to you okay so if this is for you i would say um get the hell out of dodge okay you don't want any parts of this okay and if you do um get with this person again you know protect yourself because there could definitely be somebody i see here who is not up front and um doesn't care about their health to be honest with you that's for somebody out here but you know you know who you are so many light and blessings to you guys i'm wishing you guys an, a safe and happy september <laughs> um i'm sorry that this reading was kind of crazy and um maybe negative for some people but you know what not every reading is for you and as a reader and i watch other readers i can tell you up front that not every single video is meant for you okay like and if it's not meant for you move along watch your moon watch your rising and that's it love you guys take care okay please be safe bye